on 40 acres off a gravel road in Asco, Minnesota. A welcome has always been extended to birds. Just up the hill here to the left a little bit. But never before have the tables oh, here she comes. been turned. <laughs> turned by the smooth-talking ruffed grouse who each day welcomes Bob Flack Come on, Lolo. to her neck of the woods. Come on up. This all started about three years ago. I was grading off the trail here with my tractor. All of a sudden, here's a grouse. Comes out of the woods and stands right in front of the tractor. I had to stop or hit it. And I stood there and talked to her and talked to her. A couple days later, I'm back out here on the cart, and there she is again. Should we put it over you? Huh? Today, Bob and Lulu are buddies, getting together every day to play. A friend at the very time Bob needed one. She had congestive heart failure and pulmonary hypertension. Wendy is Bob's daughter. Yes, yes. And Jeannie was his wife. She died December 19th. Seeing her suffer so much, you know, that was really tough. But on his wife's worst days, Lulabell. Bob would help Jeannie into the golf cart, and together they'd ride down the trail to see Lulu. Come on, bird. Dad had kind of rigged the golf cart up for her oxygen, and we'd you know, bundle her up and put blankets on her, and they'd go out and visit. There you are. Three times a day. There's my bird. They'd visit. It was the one thing that they could do together still. And when Jeannie passed, Come on, Lulu. Come on. Bob kept coming. When you're living alone and you're all alone all week, and I can come out and talk to Lulu, you know. <laughs> we can talk about anything. She, she don't care what I talk about. They play and sit together. Yeah. I think it's very therapeutic for him. Here, I'll give you a ride. For the 30 years this woods has been in the family, no other wild grouse there we go. has ever behaved like this. This amazes me. And you don't always understand it, but you know it's meant to happen. Yeah. A bird in the hand may well be the best gift a grieving spouse has ever found in the bush. She's part of our family now. Boyd Hooper, Carol Evan News. Asco. Bob Flack used to hunt for grouse after becoming friends with Lulu, though. He says <laughs> those days are definitely over. Can't blame him. Mm -mm. Oh, gosh, what a sweet story. You know, I, there's something about companionship that helps with grieving. But to think that a wild bird mm -hmm. can become your friend. I mean, some people talk about reincarnation and things like that, and you never know. But... Uh, what an unlikely relationship. And for that bird to do all that in front of the camera mm -hmm. too, like to capture all that, <laughs> that's amazing. Very it's cool. amazing. Mm -hmm. Very sweet story.